That is absolutely and utterly and totally the most superior television. Not only have I owned, but have I ever watched. It is so clear, so fluid. Uh, the controls and the speed of the apps are absolutely fantastic. Hello! We're in a different room today. This is the front room because I've got this to unbox. This is Sony Bravia. Uh, it's the Tri-Luminous Display 4K X-Ready Android TV 49 inch. This is free to me for review from the Amazon Vine custom review program. So I haven't paid for this, um, but as you could probably understand, I'm quite excited about it appearing. Um, now, this is why we're in the room. This is my current machine. This is a Samsung 44 inch plasma. It's about 17 years old. And you can just see me in the reflection. So this is going to be replacing that. I've already took away all the other Samsung gear, so there's just the television to swap. I will unbox it, place it there, and we'll see. Uh, my first pieces of interest are how it fits in the corner. Obviously, I've done the wiring as well. Um, and this has obviously got quite a large frame on it. The Sony design is meant to be more frameless, so we'll see that. My Wi-Fi is in the room to the left of the camera, so we'll also see how the Android connects to the Wi-Fi if it does at all. If it doesn't, I'll have to run a wire in here to see what, what, what the crack is for the moment. But for now, I shall cut this. Okay, so I've moved the old telly here. I will unbox the Sony in a moment. The first thing I want to point out is how light the Sony is. Packaged up 18 kilos. So easy to maneuver, so easy to move. This thing's heavy. This is really heavy. I think it's about 30 plus kilos. It is very, very heavy. This is a plasma, so we'll be seeing. So we can see better the surround and the reasons for the Bravia. And uh, now I'll unbox it and plug okay, it in. Okay, this is the first sight of it out of the box. This is the screen and this is the rear. And this is where we've got to connect the um, feet in, just here. But this bag is, it would be great if the bag was cut long ways and you could get in it without breaking it. Um, as it is, it's a bit fiddly because it's in this wonderful cardboard and um, polystyrene packaging that keeps it lovely and secure. Really good. I mean, if we look, ignoring the dog toys, this has taken a bash during transit and everything seems fine inside. Also, this corner has taken a bit of a bash. But this has been well protected by this polystyrene. But I now have to either break this open or, you know, destabilize it out of this package to, to get at these connectors. So a bit of a shame, but no big deal at all. It's all still looking very, so very good. So this is the first time you get a good look at the back. I have put the stand in place. The stand has got this lovely cover on it to keep it nice. So I've screwed it straight in place without needing to uh, remove that. We can see we've got an IR blaster, which is included in the pack. It's just here. You have the infrared blaster. Um, we have a Ethernet LAN port. We have the audio left, right for video audio. Um, we have the uh, left, right uh, components. Um, and, and other AV items. Um, I've not seen... Ah, there they are. Here's the standard AV aerials and HDMI. There's two HDMIs, a USB... Well, it says USB 1. I think that means literally it is port number 1. So there's a USB 1, which is marked as a USB 2 speed. USB 2, which is also black, like a USB 2. And this is a USB 3... And it literally is USB 3 super speed. That is a USB 3 hub. There are two more HDMIs here. There's an audio out, an optical digital audio out. Um, this is the standard hang brackets. It will hang on a wall if you require it to. Um, and then we have, this is the power. Uh, but the rest of it is pretty unadorned. It's all quite flush in. I think the one thing I'd say is if I'm putting wires into this, I'd have loved for there to be a channel in the plastic so that I could have it flush to the wall without having to need this sort of boxing in or lifting away. So the, at the thinnest edge, it is very, very thin. Um, we'll look at the thinness soon, but there is quite a chunk to this centerpiece. It's just as chunky as the old TV was.
Um, so anyway, I don't know which way up this is for you guys. I'm holding the phone upside down. It it may have reversed, but either way, the, it is upside down because I am putting the feet. Okay, so lifted into place. Um, there is a protective film on the outside edge. These natty stickers. The energy efficiency. It is an A rated energy efficiency, 118 kilowatts an annum. I don't know if that's based on 24/7 use or what, but it's A. It's not A star or A double star. It's just A. This is the protective cover for the stand that I mentioned that I can take away, and it leaves with a lovely brushed aluminium or brushed steel effect. Um, it is plastic though. That is plastic. It is not metal. Okay. So here's the protective edge covering just like so it has left you see that it's left a little mark there unfortunate um, I've left it there now look there we go. and here we've got 4k sticker Another piece in the edge, then down here. There we go. So the edge, it is a metal case. This is how thick the screen is. That's how thick it is. Um, let's give you a reference. That's a British five pence piece, and the five pence piece is a lot, a lot deeper. So there's your reference point, guys. It's quite impressively thin. Um, it doesn't overwhelm the room as I thought 49 inches would. It's to all intents and purposes, this one with the thick frame, that's the depth of the frame. This is just the same, but obviously there's no frame. That's where it gets the extra depth from. So that still fits my old stand, no problem. It looks pretty nice. I'm now gonna plumb it into some a signal and uh, power, see what we get to. Okay, this probably won't show. Uh, this is just YouTube. This is uh, my friend JP Kiwi Geek. And he's doing a high resolution picture. Now, I watch JP all the time on various other devices, but on this on this television, it looks fantastic. Now, the remote, if we just talk to it. Boogie 2988. Doesn't really understand me, then it gets boogie. There's boogie look. I can get boogie straight up. We just start boogie. This is how quick it is. So that's Boogie. We don't want to do too much of his stuff because obviously I'll get copyright striked. But it really works. This really does just work. Now, if I press the button, you can see this little LED. That tells me it's listening. When that LED is not on, this television is not listening to you. I have utterly and totally checked that out. We've left it with the dogs. We've left it with all sorts. I've recorded voices and sat them down and let it talk. Unless you're pressing that button... They do not listen to you, which is pretty good. It stops you worrying about it. Um, Google Play takes me directly to Google. Just like this. And you have a whole library of stuff. The performance of this, the speed, is really quite good. Really very good. Netflix does the same. Takes you straight to the Netflix app. Now, I don't have a Netflix account. Um, but this takes a little bit longer to sort of appear. Um, I could start a free month. I don't want to. So go back. Um, going back to regular TV, though, we just press TV. Now, we have only a HDMI signal. We've got, um, I'll just pause that because we've got stuff on. Um, we've got Virgin, and you can definitely tell the difference between standard signals and high, you know, high definition signals. So let's go to a regular BBC page. Okay, that's just uh, the Pope. Now, I can tell that's a bit grainy. I can see it's a bit grainy. You probably can't on here, but it doesn't really matter. Um, what's the number for that ITV? I forget the number. Of, there we go, HD. That is so much clearer. Absolutely so much clearer. We noticed this last night. We looked at it. Now, the thing to notice about this television is... There are so many options, okay? You can be running your digital signal. You could be running your um, 
you know, your set top box. You could be running a, a cable box like we've got. There's uh, obviously your games consoles and everything. Now we're going to get the PlayStation down and give it a try, um, but we've only got a PlayStation Three. Um, we'll go forward from there, but it just looks so much clearer and so much nicer. And the next thing to note is, you know, I'm here, so we can go back into here. Yeah, didn't catch that. Google. I don't know what to say. Um, let's ask it to do something. Sci-fi. There you go. It comes up with all these Google sci-fi things. To I don't know whether you can see them or look at them. These are just searches, I guess. Let's see what it does for Star Wars. So we could play it on Google for ten ninety nine. You you can't read that. Basically. It's come up with an offer to play it for me, um, or, or you can go through the cast. You know, you can you can go down everything. And if we don't want that, uh, let's try a bridge too far. There you go. It's done the same for a bridge too far. And there's all the cast. Um, let's look something else to do it. Bogart in it. So. There's bits of clips of him on dirt on YouTube, etc. etc. So you can literally dig through. So Bridge Too Far cast, Michael Caine. Strangely they haven't got his uh, new film with going out in style on there. That's an interesting thing. But we've got Zulus, thousands of them. And we can't do anything with Zulu that is actually blank. We can't do anything with it. Um, but this is just fantastic. It's always gathering extra information at the bottom. Um, the the performance of the television, if we turn it off, so that's completely off. Okay. One, two, it's on again. And it picks up exactly where it was. It doesn't, it, it is off. It, it's, it's on in two seconds, but it's literally disappeared in that time i have checked it, it goes to no you know there's a trickle of um electricity being used it's absolutely nothing on standby uh, let me try something else buggy 2988 okay we we'll go back to buggy so stephen j williams also known as buggy so there we go and the speed, the, the fluidity, this is me doing this, the fluidity of it is fantastic. It's really smooth. This is 150% better, if 150% were better, possible, than the Virgin version of the exact same thing. Um, I cannot say how good a picture, how fantastic the sound is. The sound system, okay, we have... Two down speakers either side for stereo. That's all there is really. Um, it's not a fancy sound system. They recommend obviously a, a Sony soundbar or whatever else you want with it. But it is really, really good. Now, um, there are also options for the picture. You can have the standard. You can have movie. You can have uh, a few other options for the picture. Now, we've gone for cinema home. Okay which slightly darkens the system. And you think, oh, why, why is it slightly dark? Is that bad? No, it gives it a really rich sort of overtone. You can see how, you, I hope you can tell how vivid those pictures are, the colours. It's really quite good. Okay. Now, the next piece of thing uh, or feature you want to think about for the, the picture is what's the brightness? What's the contrast? What's the colour? And you can set all these up, but you can also tell it to use the ambient light of the room as a feedback. Okay, we turned that off, and it was quite a harsh. It poof, up straight in your face. We've left that on, and it has been really good. Like right now, okay, it's we've got a window, obviously. We've got quite a dark room. The light, the sun is not directly on this room. It will be in a few hours. This is a south-facing room. 
the colour and the palette used does not just wash out and wash back. You aren't shutting the curtain or blind in our case. It alters the screen and it handles that automatically for you. So as the day wears through, it works out the correct ambient level of light for you and, and works things out. It, I think it's really, really good. Okay. So I want to go back. Let's go back. It takes us back to standard TV. Let's just mute Mr. Wet, wet, wet there. And you can obviously have this dialed into your set top box and control everything. We've opted not to. We've opted not to have this control the uh, Virgin box that we have. But I can control all this through my phone. Now, I can't show you this because uh, you, you're on my phone. However, setting this up was an absolute doddle. It came on. It um, showed us the option to pair it with the Bluetooth of the phone. So I did. The phone downloaded the app. Um, it asked me for my Google logon. Now, having a Google logon lets me get in and out of all the YouTube stuff easy. And you do need that. You do need to have a Google logon. They do ask you to join the feedback for Android TV and they do ask you to join the, uh, you know, metrics, the, the telemetry that they want to gather for you. I've declined both of those options. I don't want them to do that. Um, the next step, uh, once you've got something done here with the, you know, the remote da -da, or the Bluetooth onto the phone, it asks you to connect to your Wi-Fi. So I let it connect to my Wi-Fi. It went straight to Wi-Fi. There is Wi-Fi built in. You do not need to have that Ethernet connection. And I have got good eth uh, you know, Ethernet and I have got good Wi-Fi. I have got an N-class router. It is not a G. It is an N. It's better. Um, it's a Linksys model. I, if this is YouTube, I will link it below. If it's Amazon you're looking this on, I did review the item. It's an AWCS 4000, I believe, um, off the top of my head, which is a Linksys model. I reviewed it for Amazon, for the Vine customer review program, just like this television. It works an absolute treat, but is a top-end router. Hi again. You'll have to forgive the sound of the washer, but this is, as you can see... Oh. Well, that was uh, YouTube playing on the Samsung, uh, sorry, the Sony Bravia. Um, this is the TV that's replaced my Samsung uh, unit um, for review. I have repeatedly now had this issue uh, where the Wi-Fi is perfectly fine on this phone, on the wife's uh, laptop, which is just to my right. It just... The, the internet is fine, but on here it denies all knowledge, absolutely denies all knowledge. So if we go down now to internet, it says my Wi-Fi is present, okay? And it reports it is connected, yeah? So we go into Wi-Fi, it is connected. So we go into status info, internet connection, connected. Yeah, I have an IP address. My MAC address is the only one allowed through the router. Signal strength is excellent, but it just, just craps out. It just does not like to repeatedly and, and consistently stay online. Now, this has been, this is the fourth time. If I now go back up to YouTube. That's it. It's just stuck. It just does not want to do anything. Let's try BBC iPlayer. Loading please, wait. I really wish the washer wasn't running, but there's nothing I can do about that right now. So that took a long time. So, well, some are up, lot, but then there's these missing gaps. They're probably the new shows where it's cached old stuff. Um, so let's just try a channel. See, it's just really, this is normally so fast. It's normally so smooth, so spot on. This is really, really annoying. This is what lets this unit down completely. This is its Achilles heel. 
Now, I have tried to check for and update the system software. I'm also going to try and contact Sony and ask them before I post this review because this but is right ridiculous. now, there's nothing. Everything else is fine. If I put a unit, I normally have a laptop media center on there. That's 100% absolutely totally fine. It's just this that goes squiffy. So this has finally loaded something. These are things I know are cached, but there, look, that's missing. You know, that's missing. These were things that should be showing. Um, oh, Sunday politics finally came up. All right, it, it, it's kind of moving along now. Let's try YouTube again. Oh, we've got we've got these up this time. This means it talked to YouTube briefly. And it's it's not the app. I have the same app on on Android myself. Okay. This is going to be uh, a small clip of Stuart Ashens if it plays. So this is from Ashens uh, Loot Crate 2000, April 2017 video. And there we go. That is what we get. There's just spinny spinny. Nothing going on. And to be quite honest, this is just unacceptable for the price and ability, supposed ability of this unit. Oh, there we go. It's finally showing me one frame, the first frame, but it's still spinny spinny. And that's super low resolution. You maybe can't tell, but that's really pixelated. That's probably uh, below 720p. There we go. Not very impressed right now. Um, what was I saying? So, yes, this is the fourth time this has happened. And now it's just done it after. It's been playing an hour with no problem. So we're going to Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi on. Let's turn Wi-Fi off. Okay, this is how I cured it before. Even repowering it didn't fix it before. This is the only way I've found to do it. So I've told the Wi-Fi to turn on. Wi-Fi on. A scanning available See, networks. it's not even picking up a Wi-Fi signal. And I know there is one. So let's turn it off. Okay, that's off. Let's turn it back on again. Well, stand by it, if that makes sense. We don't turn it off at the wall. Oh, see, now it's on my network again, it, it believes. Wi-Fi connected. So did it even listen when I asked it to turn off? Let's try YouTube again. That came up a lot quicker. Did you see how much quicker that came on? So uh, this is Stuart Ashen's Loot Crate 2017. This is copyright Stuart Ashen's or fair usage. There we go. That's working now. Are we still doing things? So that's how quickly it responds when the internet and the, the, the network is working. I know my network is absolutely perfectly fine. It's this unit, and I can't believe they haven't got an aerial all the way around the whole, you know, screen area. This is a large television. There's more than ample space for a good um, antenna. If it's an, a, a software bug, it doesn't actually report that there's a software update. System update. Check for system update. Software update, your software is up to date. So there's no other option. So there we go. Network is just not happy. And it is so, so annoying. I'll leave it there.